So what is a vector? Well, it's not a pixel. Now chances are that you know what a pixel is, but just in case you don't, I'm gonna zoom in on this nice young lady and show you. So these are pixels. Now we'll talk more about these when we're working with Photoshop later in the semester. Uh, but as you can see, it's a bunch of squares that are right next to each other and each square is a different color and all of these squares together create the illusion of the original image, which in this case is a photograph. So these are not vectors, but these are. So as you look at these, we are an illustrator now. And if I get my white arrow tool, we'll talk more about that tool in another video, I can click on the edge of each of these paths and I can see that it looks kind of like a bounding box, but it's not. These are actually the points that define the shape itself. So these are known as corner points. They are just points that connect straight line segments. So obviously, if you have a rectilinear shape, these are the type of points that you would use to generate the shape. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it means there aren't any pixels in here, and the benefits to this are quite great. What? For one thing, if you don't have pixels, then you don't have resolution. And so that means that you can enlarge this up till it's as tall as the College Park building, and it's still gonna look as crisp and clean as it does at this size. Uh, the other nice point is that it takes a lot less memory. So the computer has to store information on each and every pixel. So if you have thousands and thousands of pixels, that's a lot of information for the computer file to store. For a vector object, you just have to store where is the point located and what type of a point is it. So vector paths take much less memory and they don't have a resolution. So anytime you can use a vector to generate a form or a shape, that's gonna be to your great benefit. Okay, so these are corner points. I'm gonna click on the circle now and you're gonna see that this shape, just like the square, only needs four points plus the center point in order to render that shape. And that's a little strange, isn't it? I mean, four points over here make a square, four points over here make a circle. Huh? Uh, kind of opposite land here. But you'll notice that these points are just a little bit different. Whereas with the square, when I click on the path, I just see those points. But with the circle, I see four points, but I also see these handles coming off. And these handles, depending how long they are and what direction they're pulled, in combination with the placement of this point, will determine what that shape is going to be. So you have a lot more control with curve points than you do with corner points, which is what these are called. Now, these are also called straight line segments. These are called curve segments, or if you wanna be fancy, <laughs> they are Bezier curves. So where you really get into the power of vector shapes is when you combine the two together. So if I look at this type down here, this has been converted to vector paths. And if I click on any of these letters, you'll see a whole bunch of control points. So let me just zoom in a bit on this so you can see it a little bit better. And so you'll see these are straight line segments and these are curved line segments. If I click on a handle, you'll see that the curve line segments have those little handles coming off, but on this side, which is a straight line segment, it does not. Okay, so let me show you one last thing that will really bring the point home, hopefully. I'm gonna change to this file, and you'll notice that here's this picture of the tomato paste can again. How many times am I gonna use this? I don't know. But the difference between this can and the can at the beginning of the video is that that was a pixel image. This one is not. So let me just zoom in on her and you will see that she is not the same image. She is not made up of pixels. She is made up of vectors. While the look of this may not be something you would wish for very often, the beautiful thing is that she does not have a resolution. I can make her as big as I want to be and she is always going to look exactly like this. Which, if you think about it, is a little sad.